What's up, animators? Your host and artist Vic here, and welcome to Stay Tuned Mini. I'm not at the home studio right now, and I've been working really hard on season three of Stay Tuned Animation, bringing part two of the Sonic trilogy on how to draw tails to life, and it's gonna be really a fun episode, but it's not with me right now because I'm on the road. Uh, so I figured I got my drawing book, I got an iPhone, and I got a tripod. Maybe we can try and get this uh, tutorial going just with these things, so we'll see what happens. So come on back, after the intro, I'm going to teach you how to draw Pikachu, hopefully, with all of my equipment uh, right after this. So come on back. Alright, animators, time to learn how to draw Pikachu. Oh, my bad, buddy. How to draw Pikachu. Of course, we're gonna use our regular erasable color pencil and our standard Dixon Ticonderoga regular pencil. You guys can get these at Target, Aaron, Michaels. They're ninja swords. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, what's it? They're ninja swords. I'm back in the game. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, but I'll get through it. Alright, first up, we're gonna draw lightly with this erasable color pencil. I'm gonna draw dark for you know filming purposes but you guys always want to keep this part of the drawing really light because this is just the skeleton the underlining skeleton as always we like to start off with a circle for the head and just make it a nice flowing circle um, and then we're gonna give them some rounded cheeks on the side we're gonna get them really cute now I apologize for the picture quality not being 100% right now I'm using the iPhone and while yeah it is a great camera um, it's not what I typically shoot on so um, but uh, I think you can see for the most part. So once you're done giving them the little baby face, because you want to make it look, look a little cute, we want to give them some big old ears, like a little fox, almost like a horn. It's going to be the same size as his head, same size as the dome. It's just an ear, and we're going to have one kind of sideways. So a good measurement, go ahead and lock your fingers and make a tight pinch. Make sure that they don't like switch up sizes, but that's usually a good measurement. Real quick, AJ wants to remind you guys, if you guys want to get a shout out just like Luis with your drawings, send me in your drawings after these tutorials. I want to see how yours turn out. And uh, so, all right guys, so we'll set up the line of eyes where we're going to place the eyes. And that's usually uh, at the indent of the cheek, the top of the cheek. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to his arms. One arm, uh, they're short and stubby. They're not going to be too long. Uh, you could definitely start off with a circle and just just cone it out uh, if you will almost like a uh, open clothespin that's, that's what the shape looks like and his bat his body is in the shape of a, a bean bag or rice bag and this is actually a popular lesson in animation is we learn to animate uh, flower sacks sacks of flour um, flowers in a sack yeah but that's a whole nother video Anyways, we're going to give him another short stubby arm. You don't want to give him misproportionate arms, you know. You don't want to give him one arm huge and the other one short and stubby. Because then, you're going to be walking all lopsided. One arm's dragging on the ground. One arm's like up there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Pikachu. And, you know, it's just... You want to make him look cute, right? Now, he really doesn't have that much of legs. Like I said, he's, he's really just... Just picture Pikachu as just this soft, cuddly bunny. And bunnies really don't show their legs. while well, they do when they're in full motion. But when they're not... All you see is little feet, so make sure you tuck his little foot behind. This is going to be an action pose where he's jumping up saying, Pika! That was a horrible Pikachu. And uh, for his leg, his front leg, we're going to go ahead and put it inside his body. Phew, sounds gross. <laughs> so it looks good right now, and I'm going to work on this tail. Uh, the tail, of course, is in the Thunderbolt because he is a lightning Pokemon. And, uh, you know, he's actually one of my favorite Pokemon to use. And because I was such a fan of the show, I never evolved my Pikachu. Did you guys ever evolve your Pikachu? Let me know in the comments down below. Was it worth it? I mean, of course, you know, you get the Raichu. But I like to keep my Pikachu as, as is. <laughs> Referencing uh, Pokemon vs. Cholo. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and place those eyes um, and the cheeks. Uh, I like to place the cheeks first because the cheeks, the round uh, rosiness of his cheeks are actually the same size as, the, as his eyes. So it gives you a really good reference. So we're going to go ahead and place uh, four proportionate circles, um, equal distance apart from each other. 
And then one good rule of thumb is with his forehead, you'll know his forehead is too high if it's taller than one extra eye on top of the eyes. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. Now his mouth is very happy. He's very, very simple, but very happy. I love anime because they focus on simplicity, but still getting the point across, especially with a show like Pokemon, um, where it's being mass produced very quickly. You gotta make the character simple to animate and, you know, still look good. And that's what they achieved. I really like that, what they did with that. So, yeah. Now we're gonna put a little bit of a white uh, reflection in the eye with the anime, particularly this character. You really don't have to put the full pupil like you would as a traditional American style. Now remember how I was telling you about you need to put one extra eye lightly on top of the other eye just to know how tall his head is? See, I w originally had him as a cone head and uh, that, that didn't look right. But that's exactly why you don't draw hard when you're drawing with these underlining pencils. But pretty much this drawing set, I really don't have to do any cleanup. Uh, you know, all I have to do is give him this little double chin shadow and we're good to go. So, uh, hey yo Pikachu, you mind dropping the beat while we do 30 seconds of epic shading? Yeah. Deliver it, it's done! Congratulations, animators, looks good. I think we did Pikachu justice. You guys learned how to draw? Pikachu, congratulations. Congratulations, animators, you guys did it! You guys made it through another tutorial and it's been so long and look, you guys didn't lose a, a step, so it's awesome. Alright guys, now as you guys may have heard in the tutorial, I am working on Pokemon vs. Cholos Part 2 and Angry Birds vs. But I want to know from you guys, what are some Pokemon you want to see me battle with? You want to see me interact with? Last time I interacted mainly with Pikachu and Squirtle. I want to know, what are your favorite Pokemon that you want to see? Leave them in a the comment down below and the ones with the most responses, I'm going to integrate. And if you pick one of the more popular ones, I'm going to put you in the credits. So it's going to work out for everybody. So leave it in a comment down below. And guys, if you haven't checked them out yet, go check out Pokemon vs. Cholos Part 1 and the Angry Birds mini movie. All the annotations will be on after. And guys, if you guys want to help me pick the next tutorial in the lineup, please follow me on facebook.com slash officialvickyj. There you can win drawings, you can send me your drawings, we can interact, you can chit chat, you can get bonus tips. I am an open book, so hit me up anytime. I'm really good with responding. So if you guys want to follow me, facebook.com slash officialvickyj. Until next time, guys, I'm Vic, and remember, Stay tuned. Hey Vic, my name is Lacey and I just want to tell you that I love all your videos and I can't wait to see more. You're ridiculously talented with your drawings and I freaking love your Oso Disney show. Anyways, I hope you have happy holidays and remember to add 10 points to your Geek Spike high score. Okay, bye!